What is up guys and gals, continuing our um, foray into one-offs of the PlayStation 1 era. We are here with Croc, Legend of the Goros, trademarked I'm afraid. Uh, let's get that intro on while I do my own little intro. So yes, this is another example of the game, uh, of the games that I sort of buy at conventions when I go. Uh, I usually buy one or two PlayStation 1 games, sometimes stuff that looks interesting, sometimes stuff that looks like complete and utter fucking trash just for your guys' enjoyment. Uh, this is the prior, to be honest with you. Uh, I remember playing Croc 2 as a child. Uh, never played Croc 1 before, but, you know, uh, I'm sure it controls just as well. Uh, in fact, I can't remember a lot about Croc. I remember it being an adventure an adventure game? Platformer game? Uh, sort of in the same vein as uh, Spyro the Dragon. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so, this game came out in 97. Spyro the Dragon, the first one, came out in 98. So... Uh, comparing it visually to Spyro is a little bit unfair, but at the same time, I had the same tech to work with, etc. Uh, it doesn't actually look that bad, actually. Uh, I don't mind. Uh, the gobos are cute and fuzzy because this is a child's. This was a child's game even back then. You know that's the aesthetic they're going for to aim for people. Oh, we accidentally made the king faint. Oh dear. Oh, fuck me. That crocodile should have just, as soon as it reached maturity, should have eaten all of these little fucks. And that's our bad guy, uh, Tyrek. <laughs> I don't fucking know his name. Uh, the villains... Uh, other than Croc, I don't know any characters' names. I don't know the little creatures are goblin... Uh, Gobbos, Evo. E Evo? Fucking hell, this ain't a fighting game. Um, oh, wow, you zapped him in the butt. Now he's on fire. That's just mean, dog. Oh, well, some of them escaped. That's good. I don't think there's any voices in this game either. I don't think anyone talks, so... A lot of the stuff is just, hey, use your brain. Oh, also, another side note about this game. This game came with a big fuck-off rules manual. Uh, not rules manual, instructions manual, which I checked out. And I'm like, why is this so big? Oh, yeah. Back in the day, they used to release the fucking rule, uh, the instructions manual with every single language. So there's only about 15 page of instructions, but it's in about 50 languages. So that's kind of neat. That's from back in the day. You young'uns probably don't remember instructions manuals. Oh, yes. Used to be what we, um... Well, I say we. It used to be what I used to read on the way home from picking up a new game. Because, uh, I think I've explained this on the channel before. When I was a child, it was one game a month at best. And even then, uh, that was with me saving up every scrap of uh, pocket money. Was it even one game a month? I think it would have been like every other month or so. But then I'd also pick games like Final Fantasy IX, Final Fantasy VIII, etc. when they came out. Because guess what? Those are long-ass RPGs and they will last forever. Um, I can't save game because I forgot to reset the memory cards. Because uh, this is on the PS3 right now. So all I need to do is add in another 8 mega space or whatever the fuck. So uh, let's start level 1-1. And so the adventure begins. Very Spyro-esque um, sort of intros to the levels. I don't know who made this game. It might... Be from the same publisher, publisher or something? I don't know. Oh no, this is Fox. This is definitely not the same company as Spyro. Cool. Let's give our buttons a quick quest. Uh, right. Squares a spin. Triangle does the camera. Circle does a quick turn. X does a jump. Can we use the... the no, we can't use the left stick. Cool. Uh, we click crystals and gobos. I save you, right? Yes. That's cool. That's nice. I like that. He makes a little... Little ah, kill! I'll kill you. Oh, I can push you, but I can't destroy you. No, I can't push you. It just makes it look like a. Oh God, these are. Ooh. Can I? Oh, cool. We got a strafe, and we got that, which is it's cool. Let's kill this small fuck. Croc, have you got teeth? Croc's got teeth. Why don't he just eat these motherfuckers? Okay, that's what L2 does. L2 changes your camera type. Uh, so we've either got... It, you follow your thing, or you press L2. And it's a bit looser. Well, oh, okay, so it's like Sonic Rings. Got it. Lesson learned, eh? Yeah, let's keep that camera tight. I like myself an active camera as opposed to passive. Oh. Oh, wait, hang on. What do I want? No, I want that. I want that type of control mode. It sort of changes the whole control scheme. So, it certainly feels like it. You can't see what I'm doing with my hands, but trust me, it feels like a completely different game um, 
Co sorry, completely different control scheme every time you press L2. Like, one feels like vaguely tank controlly. Which I, c I can see kind of working for some segments, but for the most part, yeah. Tank controls and I don't usually get along. That's a good thing these are fucking. Yes, I see you. Hello. Cool, that's Goblin 2. I imagine we'll learn a fucking butt stomp at some point or something that will help us destroy. Crush, kill, destroy. Yes! Destroy them all! Oh, now my throat's all fucked up. Oh, okay, and I've got two lives. Interesting. Oh, hello, are you a friend? No, no, you're not. I, for a second now, I thought he was going to start talking to me. Uh, that didn't happen. Alright, what are you? You must be a checkpoint system, right? Oh! Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, cool. You, you tap that and that ends the level. I thought it was a checkpoint. Um, so, oops. There's probably more gobos and stuff to collect from there, but we're just doing a quick look, so fuck it. We're not, we're not going for 100%. In fact, we're probably not even going to finish the game, let's be honest. Probably not going to. We're not going to. Uh, this video will be half hour at most. Check down the fucking bottom there. See how long this video is. If it's less than four hours, it is most definitely not me finishing the game. Sorry, I was just grabbing a drink there. My fucking throat is all jacked up. It's been a while since I've had to talk for an extended period of time. <laughs> so... Is there some kind of special move I need to learn? Oh! Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! It's fine, it's the PS1. Can I climb this? This looks like a climbable texture. Aha! So that's the gimmick here. Yeah, climbing sucks. I can imagine you being uh, um, really breathy while doing it. Uh, is this what the level is? Just walk around the outer, outer rim and collect all these... Crystal orbs. Hello. Did he just try and f shoot me? Nah, that's also got a fucking seal on it. I've got to work out how to do whatever this fucking attack is. Because I must... Oh, it's double X. It's X twice. Does a stomp. Cool. Well, now we know. Whoa! Loading screen. Oh! A lot more. S Go away! I don't. I don't want you. Please leave me alone, big worm man. Oh god! It's even got creepy music. Stop it! Oh god! This is not controlling well. Uh. Do I, can I get that heart, do you think? Let's find out. Oh, I can! But I, um... Was a bit too hasty. And you never get no way if you're too hasty. Uh, but yeah, I, I kept pressing the up button in order to make the jump. Oh, and it's just an extra life, so great. That's a net gain of zero. Oh, I don't like the fucking scene transition noise, though. <laughs> that wasn't what it sounded like at all. What the hell? Oh, okay. Oh, hello. I don't have a key, so you're going to have to stay trapped. Oh, hang on. I can get rid of these now, then. Oh, and there's gobos inside some of them. I wonder if some of them also have enemies. Oh, gems. That's always nice, isn't it? Always nice to get some local currency. <gasps> local currency! Local currency is the best currency. I see that key. I will get that key and save my goblo gobo friend. I will keep on to say goblin. Because uh, gob gobo is kind of a short way of saying goblin. Or it is in the communities I'm aware of. So. Yeah, how'd that work out for you, champ? Was it good for you? Because it was only okay for me. Right, let's get you out. There you go, little go oh, the, the gobos are actually quite cute. Like, if there, if there was a real-life gobo right here, right now, I would be hugging the shit out of it. 
literally, figuratively, take it how you will. I will be hugging that little motherfucker and he will love it. And I will love him. And uh, he will be mine and he shall be my squishy. There are many gobos like this, but this one is mine. Etc, etc. How many more memes can we get going here? <laughs> Where the fuck am I? Oh, I hear some gobbo screaming. There we go. You're welcome, little gobbo. Thank you, tiny man. Oh, great. We've got spinners. I say spinners. R rotating platforms. Always a fun time. Right, now we know that that's the end of the level. Let's open this first. Because there's another gobbo inside. Great. What does this mean? Okay, so if you collect the five coloured orbs, you can go through here, which will probably do something else. Fuck knows what they do. Some kind of bonus of some kind. There's probably a bunch of gobos behind there. Or something, I don't know. I'm just guessing, because, uh, yeah. I played Croc 2, and Croc 2 looked a lot smoother than this did. Oh, there's sheep in this level, cool. Sh oh, let's see what the other level's called. Underground, overground. Alright, that's kind of meh. Shooting lava, lava, lava! Sorry, shouting lava, lava, lava. That sounds like a boss. I'm a boss player. Man, that was a good fucking music video. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sometimes my brain it does need work. And uh, you see, the, the trick is you gotta you gotta be actually on top of it before you do the jump, otherwise it doesn't register. Which is fine, but yeah, Got, this control does seem a bit stiff. Uh, the control scheme. And it, it doesn't really matter what camera angle I'm using, it still seems dodgy as fuck. Uh... Oh, so it saved our first goal of the stage. What is this going to do, I wonder? You know what? That's a good button. Am I? I thought I was dead, I'll be honest with you. Nope, just uh, hanging on for dear life. Well, we might as well explore it, eh? Man, this seems like a, quite a hostile island for the gobos to live on. All this lava. It's not, um... It's not good. Oh, great! It's the fucking cup game. Why would you willingly be a part of this, gobo? Like, for real. Um... It should be this one here, if I was looking properly. There's a few quick changes. Hey, it was! Cool. Wow, well, that's a fucking... Some of those were mean... I wouldn't have been surprised if I didn't get that. It was like, well, it's one of two. And I kept my eyes on, on one of them, and I was like, I think it's that one. But, you know, sometimes sometimes when the swaps are really fast, it's annoying. At least it's a fair one, though. At least you can keep track of it with your eye. At least it's not one of these bullshit ones that, uh, that goes, nah. Uh, we're just going to fucking swap them about without you seeing. Yeah, let me up. Come on, I'm crawling. Green orb. <gasps> What's this? <gasps> oh. Man, I don't like the spooky music. It's freaking me out, man. Is what I'd be saying if I was 12. But I'm not. I'm 26. And I am a man. Therefore, I cannot be scared by spooky, scary music. Don't say spooky, scary music. What I meant was... Uh, is that full damage? No, there isn't. No, didn't want to do that. What the fuck do you want? Go away. Oh, okay. This has got a bunch of arrows on it, so I bet ya we can push it. Oh, yeah, it's like fucking Haunted House. Haunted House, that's the word I'm looking for. It's like Haunted House music. Uh, you know? Which, to a child, frightening. To an adult, it's just kind of like, eh, it's music and it exists. It sets the tone. Alright. Alright. The goal is to make this spooky for kids. It would it would spook the heck out of me if I was a child. I'm not a child, though. Therefore, it's uh, spooky factor does not uh, work on me. Your Jedi mind tricks do not work on me. Thanks, George, for creating the most busted race ever. Oh, what's what's this racist spe racist special ability? Oh, you know the mind fuck magic that the uh, the Jedi have doesn't work on them. Why? Eh, they just don't. Hey, is that the script? 
Because if it worked, that fucking uh, the whole tattering adventure made no sense. Oh, I've actually unlocked a secret area. I wonder what's behind this door. Okay. First things first, we've got to get to the top before we start smashing. Smashing! Oh, hello. Yeah, okay, fuck off. Oh, there's a gobo. Hello, gobo. I'm not complaining because the gobos don't deserve death, but um, how come that gobo didn't get eaten by the giant worm? The giant worm just like, nah, I will fight the crocodile, but the gobos are my friend. Uh, I will never harm those magnificent creatures. I hope they don't fucking fade out of existence, because if they do, I want a bit of a time limit here. Ah, there we go. I'm fucking rolling in money. I, uh, never have to work again. Look at all these rainbow orbs. That's right, I went rainbow because of my lisp. Which sometimes flares up from now and... Oh, hang on, maybe that balloon will float up. Nope. It's worth, uh, it's worth a go. What's the what's the possum's beef with the crocodile? Right, I, 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 I assume the worm is working for the big giant green ogre dude. But I don't quite understand the motivation for the uh, possums to be attacking me. You know, shouldn't they be playing dead? I am a crocodile. Where? What? Huh? Oh, it's a floating platform, not a not a ladder. Yeah, I'll save you in a minute, buddy. But I need a key first. How many of these orbs have I got? Fuck sake, I'm missing the red one. They do appear to be in order, though. So... Uh, so if you appear, if you get the fucking, if you get the the green one, but you haven't got the red one yet, is it worth going back there? Ah, you know what? Fuck it. I ain't going all the way. Oh, there's a, I see you. I was going to ring the gong and just go forward, but no, you and your fuckery means I must save my, uh, my gobbo friend. You know, I think that's the most gobbos I've collected in a single level so far. Nope, gotta be right over it, don't we? Cool. Come on down, floating platform of God. How come... How can... Oh my God, they all just go. Like, if you get fucking hit, all fucking... All the orbs that you have collected in your possession just... Oh, I don't even need to stomp on that. I just need to step on it. Cool. All the orbs you have just fucking go. Like, because I could have sworn in, like, Sonic, you only had, like, 30 Levia. Or however many it is. I swear there's a limit. It's not just like, oh no, you're fucked now. Ah, fuck it. The orbs don't seem to mean much. Oh, that's my totals. Interesting. By the looks of things, it looks like my totals. So maybe that'll mean, mean something. 1B1. Lair of the Feeble. Alright, we're going to get this level done and then we're going to call it quits on this, uh, this quick look. Oh, there's a cutscene. Oh, he likes the ducky thing. Oh, he's turning them into monsters. Uh, you know what? If I had that ability, I would do it on a couple of things just to see what would happen. Hey, you can turn these. Uh, you can turn any animal you want into some weird freakish soldier. Cool. First thing I'm doing it on is a fucking duck because those things are weird and creepy anyway. Well, I say that. Well, I'm going to assume that if I jump on this, it goes on its own. Oh, shit. That's cool. I get full control of this shit. Ah, uh, all I have to do is jump. And then I get off. Neat. Can you get closer for me? There we go. There's probably a gobbo in here. Nah, it's gonna be quartz. And uh, if you wonder why I'm calling that quartz, just look at any fucking mobile game from Japan, and pretty much every single time their fucking premium currency is that colour. Not necessarily that shape, mind you, but that colour scheme always. It's always fucking rainbow. It's like, look at this shit. Buy our premium currency. Do it now. And become our, our Mega Whale number 275. Sorry, mobile games are fucked up. Speaking of fucked up, look at this corridor. 
Oh, where we go in this corridor? More quartz, a couple of flaming pits, and some enemies. That's a fucking Spyro sound effect. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. There's an enemy in Spyro that makes that exact noise. Oh, what fucking enemy is it? Oh, that's gonna... Hmm. I feel like it... I know what it is. It's the fucking weird spirits. The uh, the, the evil spirits that they have you kill sometimes. They go, bleh, when you miss them. How am I going to beat this enemy? I can barely control myself. Okay. So is that what i got to do? i just got to escape him. And then when he does his peck attack and gets stuck in the ground. Ow, I'm dead. Oh, and there you go. All f Yeah, they all just go. I had max amount, as far as I'm aware. And uh, he hit me once, and they all go away. You get a chance to recoup ten, by the looks of things. Do I just keep going? Do I have to be near him enough for him to try and make an attack? Nope, just keep going and he'll eventually swing at nothing. Okay. That was very unclear. Apparently I hit him, despite the fact he made no motions to make it look like I did. But he did make the sound effect, so... Oh, now he's back to being a weird duck chicken kiwi thing. Oh, there's my, my end of the level bird. It's to think it's a bird, it's just a yellow blob with ice and feather wings. Feather wings, yes, unlike those skeleton wings. Yes, level 1 4, the Tumbling Dantini. Uh, however, guys, oh, show level password. Ah, okay, so for people who. Uh, for people who didn't have a memory card back in the day, this is how they used to um, let you get around having a memory card. Is Oh, here you go, just. Put in this, write down this code and go back to the level you were on. Which was a neat way of getting around it, because not everyone had a memory card back in the day. Um, I, th I don't think they were super expensive, but they were if you were a child. So yeah. Uh, anyway guys, this has been Croc the Legend of the Gobbos. Is it the Legend of the Gobbos? It most certainly is. And uh, that was our quick look. If you want to see me do a full LP of this, let me know in the comment section. I'll be sure to take it under advisement, because I don't mind doing a full LP of this, although I can imagine if I have to keep doing what I'm doing, uh, it'll get a bit old real soon, but, um, I saw her on the opening menu screen, and, um, they, uh, uh, had a frozen level, so there's definitely different environments to play with, and it's not too challenging, in fact, the biggest challenge I've got is, uh, manoeuvring the character with the certain camera angles, and accidentally changing the, uh, sort of movement scheme without realising it. Anyway, guys, I'm uh, rambling a little bit. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. As always, keep yourselves safe and keep yourselves happy. And I will see you all again real soon. It's a bye from me and from now. Toodles, guys.